what's up beautiful people welcome to this brand new exciting episode of your favorite entertaining show hot and juicy with me your host miss bang hope you guys are doing extremely fine if you're ready then let's get started with our weekly news roundup and these are the headlines Netflix acquires two other Cameroonian amazing movies which are A Man for the Weekend and Broken all produced by Cameroonian movie star Cindy Imade. Cameroonian blogger and entrepreneur now turned rapper Nora Brown claps back at Tila Tafari after she referred to her as a sickle cell doll woman. Cameroonian entrepreneur GCV finally opens up with her own part of the story after she had an acid attack on her face one year ago. Cameroonian upcoming artist Carl Breezy refers to Stanley Eno as a whack artist singing nonsense and needing no recognition and indirectly refers to Salatia as the only legit artist in Cameroon. And Cameroonian artist Wax Day and Ambe met with the Minister of Arts and Culture in Hiawunde. What was the aim of such a meeting and what was the outcome? Guys, details coming up right away. Go nowhere. I'll be right back. After recently acquiring three Cameroonian movies, which are Therapy, The Fisherman's Diary, and Seven, Netflix has acquired two other Cameroonian movies, which are Broken and The Man for the Weekend, all facilitated by Brenda Elong of Omega One Entertainment. Isn't this good news, guys? Both movies are produced by Cameroonian movie star Cindy Emade and will be airing on Netflix on the 16th and 22nd of June, respectively. A Man for the Weekend features Nollywood actor Alex Ikubo and Broken features Ghanaian actor John Dumelo and Cameroonian artist Nabila. This comes at a time where the movie sector has been longing for a particular platform to carry their craft out of Africa and beyond. This is definitely a great achievement to the Cameroon film industry. Guys, apart from these five movies, which other Cameroonian movie do you think Netflix should acquire? Let me know in the comment section. Cameroonian blogger and entrepreneur now turned rapper Nora Brown claps back at Tila Tafari after she referred to her as a sickle cell doll woman. Nora Brown and Tila Tafari have been fighting dirty on social media for weeks now. And what actually orchestrated this is when Jovi previewed his song he said he recorded five years ago with Nigerian superstar Whiskey. Immediately Jovi uh, previewed this song in a live session. Tila Tafari came out calling Jovi all sorts of names saying he's a liar that he has never recorded any song with uh, with whiskey after saying that Nora Brown immediately came out calling uh, Tila Tafari a bitter woman that she's always jealous she said a whole lot of things about Tila Tafari that were not positive after Nora Brown said this Tila Tafari immediately reacted with this screenshot God has already punished you with sickle cells, so I will instead allow you for the prayer warriors. Always talking about Tila this, Tila that. I hope when I grow old to reach your age, I will not be full of stupidity like you, dull woman. Dull woman. She called Tila Tafari a dull woman, saying she's a sickle cell woman. She's an old woman. But after that, she apologized, okay? She apologized. When we thought things were done, Nora Brown clapped back with us. Tumboko God trashed you and got a new bell. We need an air freshener. Ya yeah, ba locked on the smell. Say you be God mother, but church you know. Now this is actually what Nora Brown said in this her debut rap song that was destined to Tila Tafari. How can a person start her career talking to a particular person? This industry is crazy. GCV is a Cameroonian entrepreneur and CEO of G Cosmetic. One year ago, she was attacked by two unknown men who poured acid on her face. And after clear investigation, one of them was apprehended and he confessed that he was hired with his friend by Eventis and his baby mama Elangwe Nora, who promised to pay them 250,000 francs to do the work. They were advanced 50,000 francs and were promised to be paid 200,000 francs. Immediately, the work was done. I don't know if they were actually paid the remaining 200,000 francs. So after being under medical uh, care, GCV finally came out one year ago with a face that is totally different from the beautiful face uh, she had. Like, I prefer to watch this beautiful image of herself before the incident. So she said, 
actually a long way uh, Nora who is the baby mama to Eventis came closer to her asking or begging for her to be her best friend friend and the uh, gcv keep rejecting her proposal looks like elangwa noah has been jealous of gcv for a long time now and without any means to get to her she decided to connive with her baby daddy to harm gcv i understand that carrying out crazy plans are women's stuff. now men are joining with women to pour acid on another woman's face like the woman was actually jealous of G. Sylvie. What was the man's own on that? What was he actually reproaching from G. Sylvie that he has to accept the plans of his baby mama on pouring acid on the poor girl? We want to thank God that she's gradually getting back her face but not the beautiful face she used to have but she's still beautiful anyways. We just pray that the... Uh, the those that are responsible for this are finally caught and punished as deserved. I don't actually know the kind of relationship Kyle Breezy has with Stanley Enno, but lately he has been buzzing the internet with crazy comments in regard to Stanley Enno, who is a well-known artist and a multi-award winner as compared to him, and he equally doubles as his superior in the industry. We've had a series of disrespectful comments from Kyle Breezy saying that Stan Enno is a work artist that he sings nonsense and needs not to be promoted. His first reaction came after Stan Enno's performance at the Voice Africa Francophone where he performed the acoustic version of his popular song, and Pair. This is actually what Carbrizzi said. LOL. Stan Enno is now a singer. I thought he was a rapper. Nothing one won't say in this industry. Immediately he said this, King Kong's fans came for him and he stood on his words and even went as far as saying that the only legit artist in Cameroon is Salatia because he featured on Beyonce's album The Lion King. A lot of artists have been attacking Stanley Enno either directly or on social media and we all know how it always ends with public apologies. Now, Cabrizi's reaction towards Stanley Enno, what do you think about that? Do you think it's going to end in premium tears or in premium public apology? Let me know in the comment section. Cameroonian artist Wax Day and Ambe attended a very important meeting with the Minister of Arts and Culture, His Excellency Bidun Kwat, recently in Yaoundé. The aim of the meeting was to restructurize the music sector, which seems to be going in all directions lately. A lot of artists have been complaining of the government not supporting them at all. So presently, Minak is working on an application text to formalize and operationalize the music structure. Waxday is calling on all Cameroonian artists to reunite and join forces together and see if they might end up obtaining the changes they have been longing for in this industry. Let's just hope everything goes well for everybody. That's all we have for the news roundup on today's episode. Guys, thank you very much for still watching this show. If you haven't yet subscribed, I'm giving you just a few seconds for that. Please subscribe and hit the notification button. Thank you guys for the mad love top 10 countdown of the week coming up right away. At the 10th position, we have Nganu by Cameroonian artist Joshua Kobo. The song is actually produced by DP Star Young. The best UFC champion, Gano, 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 Gano. Who the hardest UFC puncher, Gano, 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 Gano. But yet, to Cabrizi comes up at the ninth position with this song titled Mad. Chopfish by Cameroonian artist This Slick occupies the eighth position. The song is produced by Legendary Soul. Modern night, I meet up people club with the fuck boys. We are holding a all in color for my pocket. No say bara si one bat I go cut. At the seventh position, we have this beautiful collabo song from Randall featuring Blanche Bailey. The title of the song is Mama and is produced by Phil Bill. Them tell me say no fit make it. Them tell me say no fit get money. See I've been a bad seed for good line. At the sixth position, we have No Place from Cameroonian artist P Mat. The song is produced by A Train and Chris Point. 
Back market cipher from Quarter Pekin occupies the fifth position. The song is produced by Boyka. Papa got send me. Do you not begin trying? I don't try for the sake of the world. They won the lose on a holy. Eube takes the fourth position with her song Peck Peck. The song is produced by Akwando. It's a Ube. Lose for the border. It's a fat yard. Akwando. At the third position, we have the Ayango girls with the song title Mula. Je veux pas le mola, hey. Je veux que ça mula, baby. Je ne veux pas le mola, hey. Je veux que ça. Mr. Leo still maintains the second position with the song title JJ. The song is produced by Nyambi Ezu. Video of the week is this beautiful smashing collabo song from Cameroonian slam artist Lidal featuring Avero Jess. The song is titled Bango Bango. of this week guys you can equally propose your own list to us via the comment section when we refer to Cameroonian artist Daphne as a multi award winning artist this is actually what we mean in celebration of the 135th edition of Labor Day, Daphne took to all her social media handles to show off her multiple awards. And amongst we have uh, the Kunde Award she won in 2019 as the best female artist in Central Africa. We equally have the Afrima she won in 2018 and 2019. When you work hard, it definitely pays off as you can see on our pick of the week. Let's start for today's episode of Hot and Juicy with me, Miss Ben, guys. Thank you very much for watching. But before we go, a big shout out and congratulations to Cameroonian artist Renew, who signed her first brand ambassador deal with the teeth whitening structure. No wonder she has been having the brightest of smiles lately. Congratulations once more, Renew. If I'm giving it to you, Hot and Juicy, you should definitely give it back to me with a subscription, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Let me know what you think about today's episode. I'll be right back next week with much more hot touches. Don't forget to follow me on my personal social media handles. On Facebook, it's Miss Meng. On Instagram, it's Real Miss Meng. For more updates on Cameroon Entertainment, stay tuned to 237 Showbiz. Do have a great weekend.